Greg, why don't we just start with you, just in terms of what attracted you to Hertz when you were looking at what was happening during the pandemic, what was happening with travel, and uh, what made you think that this was actually going to be a good investment? Because there were some pretty dark days. There were some dark days. <laughs> we had a, uh, a theory about what was going on in the, in the travel industry, and we have all kinds of different data sources that indicated that Americans were going to stay home uh, that Americans were going to, if they did vacation, they'd vacation domestically, and that would indicate that they would rent cars when they when they traveled. Uh, we had good good data from people searching online and offline that indicated that there would be a lot of uh, demand for rental cars, and then we came across the small statistic that everyone's now familiar with, which said that uh, there would also be a chip shortage that would not enable the rental car companies to refleet. And so the combination of a higher demand for, for inventory and lower supply led us to believe that this company would have the pricing power you see today. Tom, it's not just those things that kind of happened along the way. You also had the situation where you had this huge fleet of cars um, that you had to get rid of and sell some of those cars. Um, that was able to be actually be beneficial because you were selling used cars at a time when used cars prices were really skyrocketing as consumers were looking for cars. And then that left you with a smaller fleet, uh, not only you, other car companies too, so that when travel did come back, some of the prices for those were, were quite a bit higher. This has been a long road coming out of bankruptcy. Yeah, I think the, there was a number of events, as Greg mentioned, that led to a fortuitous environment, but that led to are over earning for a period of time and building up a substantial cash balance that has allowed us to pursue uh, new avenues and lines of business. We're trying to expand uh, into new areas and offerings where we can access more customers and grow beyond the traditional business that Hertz has so effectively provided over the course of the last 103 years. And I think it's those new areas that have uh, us excited and we hope other investors as well. Um, we think there's a, it's a very interesting time in the auto rental industry, and our objective is to be very forward-looking in how we help guide the company. Mark, let, let's jump off on that. It, it has been an interesting time watching what's happened in the market, watching what's happened in other places. Um, Hertz was a meme stock, one of the original meme stocks that people went through. Are you still going to be a meme stock? Do you want to be a meme stock at this point? Well, I can never predict what the market is going to do. All we are focused on is running a terrific company. Uh, as uh, Tom and Greg just mentioned, we're performing, very proud of the team. And importantly, this is not only about running an excellent rent-a-car company. We're going to stay very focused on that. But this is also about a transformation of Hertz. And this is about you know us positioning ourselves to lead uh, and be a central player and role and component of the modern uh, mobility ecosystem. And we are uniquely positioned to do that. And I think this gives us a lot of optionality as a company going forward. And we're going to stay very focused on delivering results and we'll let the market speak from there.